Namaste, in this uh, video, I am going to explain about the moon line and its connection to foreign travel, foreign settlement, foreign job or even marriage uh, abroad or with a foreigner or interaction with foreigners because one of the karakatwas of moon is travel. One of other karakatwas of moon is foreign country, you know, females, etc, etc. So, let's start off with the first formation. Let's say if there is a Mercury line, Buddha okay, and in on this Buddha if another line comes and meets from the moon mount, this is the moon mount, this is the moon mount, so if any uh, line from the moon mount or moon rekha or chandra rekha comes and touches, please remember it should not cross, it should not cross, it should touch, it should just touch or merge into the Mercury line, in that case, the person would benefit a lot from foreign countries in terms of in terms of business or even travel but mostly it will be gain from foreign uh, lands or gain from foreigners even foreign natives or the business could be uh, related to something like importing something from uh, abroad or interaction with foreigners or lab from foreigners or gain from foreigners okay so this is the line that i have mentioned here but remember a uh, few things which uh, one has to note when we are looking at these basic lines in palmistry see the sun mount has to be extremely strong for these predictions to come true which i am explaining right now the sun mount has to be strong because in palmistry sun is also related to videsh people may not agree but that's how it is, unfortunately or fortunately, whatever you want to call it. So, that's how uh, it is. So, let's look at the second type of sun line that is observed in people who have jobs abroad or who are always traveling abroad or who gain uh, from some work projects or something like that or who gain a lot of uh, fame abroad. Such people, it is seen that they have this kind of line which reaches the sun mount. This is the sun mount from the moon now you see there are two things it can come from here it can come from here or it can come from the place which i have circled so ideally you will see that this is the correct position for it to come from if it comes from the moon mount that means very uh, somewhere here if it comes from here predictions might be different in that case the person might gain through foreign uh, connections or females but more in the artistic kind of things that means if the if the rekha comes from inside of the moon mount and tries to reach the sun mount then such person gain from something like talents artistic talent movies some theater or something related to arts okay media something like that and abroad for sure they would uh, get a fame name and fame abroad but if it comes just from here let's say from here it could mean that the person has a business abroad or is working abroad it could be technical work whatever normal work you know so that's how it is however if it comes from slightly somewhere here you will have a different prediction here here Mostly, you know, something related to property, land or or something related to metals abroad. Okay, so, but it should not come from here. The, again, the prediction becomes different then. The moon mounts area should be defined first. And then we have to see the origin of the line. So, whenever I am drawing it, I am assuming that the moon mount has an area roughly this much. So, I am trying to define the boundaries of the moon mount by saying that this is the middle, this is the edge of the moon mount and this is the beginning. So, depending on that, the predictions would certainly change. Now, coming to the next prediction or next kind of lines. Sorry, one second. What I have drawn in white are the basic lines which you should know as uh, palmistry students. If... If a line 
if a line comes from the mani band area that means from here and joins the fate line fate line means what saturn line if it joins if it joins then it could mean that the person has a technical job abroad or a person gains lot of benefit because of some influence from a female or the person gains from abroad especially when here you have to look at the karakatwas of you have to blend the karakatwas of shani and moon so when you do the prediction you have to be careful not to mix uh, something else you have to be very careful in using the karakatwas of shani by the way in brigunadi shani also has a uh, karakatwa which is linked to travel especially very long distance travel very long distance travel is linked to shani as well so it could mean that if we interpret it this way that way if you could it could mean that the influence could come uh, by constant travel or by living abroad and gains because of some females who are living abroad are you getting the point so and this long means that long duration also it can mean long duration of stay some people stay for some time and then they move to other place so this could mean that the person would stay at one place abroad for a long time and therefore gain either from females or you know technical job likewise okay so this is how we interpret this at times you would see that a line coming from the venus mount shukra parvat joins the moon mount now there are many variations here okay it could come like that it could come like this it could come like that okay the nature of the line is important don't think that all these lines are always positive we have to check the nature of the line it means its thickness and what is it cutting the way it is oriented it should not be vasana rekha that means you know uh, it should not as it should not assume the shape of a serpent also so a lot of things are there i'm just telling you any line that tries to connect the moon mount and the venus mount also can mean that the person's wife would be a foreigner or he would be um, always involved with foreign women or women who are from different caste or different traditions or from different place other than his own native place so that's what it means at times you would see that uh, even you see the sun line sometimes comes from the moon and stops at the heart line okay also at times you would see that the a branch from the branch from the life line also comes and meets the moon mount now these are two different things i'll explain the first one see the first one has been seen it has to be seen in such a way that when it touches the heart line you will always find that it will give some emotional connect with a lady it could be a marriage with a foreigner or it could be some emotional connect with a foreign land some kind of emotions attached to a foreign place such persons would have such uh, you know kind of tendencies to or have some kind of connection like that okay now the other line which i was mentioning was this one which comes and uh, you know kind of uh, meets the moon mount now many 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 hands have this line it need not always you know kind of refer to something like foreign travel not necessarily so therefore i do not consider this uh, as something which always represents a foreign kind of connection no it has lot of other meanings i will explain that later because you know at times people say i have this line like this why am i not uh, abroad it's not necessary that you know this line should mean abroad connection no not necessarily now you see that at times you would have seen some line which we in the western palm it's called mars line okay or sister line to the life line and then suddenly some kind of line that <coughs> that joins this line somehow you see the connections need not be like direct 
it could be indirect you have to be very careful not to confuse this with chandra yuddha it is different from chandra yuddha okay so what it could be like that and something or it could take the form of this it could also also be joining the lifeline from the lifeline it could be like that so there could be different connections you have to see the way it goes and meets the moon mount from this particular point or this particular sister line or mass line how it goes and meets the moon this means that the person might get help in settling down abroad from friends or very close relatives or relatives or some people who are close to uh, the family so he might get help in the foreign countries in settling or getting help from them or getting married you know some kind of um, alliance etc etc but remember all these lines that i have mentioned here they are they are supposed to give these results only when the sun mount is strong and these lines are nirdosh that means there are no afflictions on this line any affliction on the sun line or the moon line i'm sorry any affliction on the moon line can mean trouble for example if you have a line like this and it breaks at this point it means problems or if you have if you have a sun line and there is an island on it not good if you have a sun line a moon line and it has got a tail kind of shape you know again it shows problems if you have a moon line which starts from an island not at all good if you have a moon line getting cut by a thicker line look this line and this line the thickness is very important if this is thicker than the moon line then certainly there is problem now some people uh, also get confused by you know assuming that this moon line is nothing but line of intuition line of intuition is completely different from moon line please note that point okay so there are a lot of uh, predictions for line of intuition i don't think that line of intuition necessarily gives intuition no i've seen <laughs> different Uh, palms i have seen lot of palms where there was a clear line of intuition but the person did not have any intuitive powers or something like that yes it has other meanings when we do the uh, other uh, palmistry concepts we will learn about it but as of now this is what it means now uh, you see that at times <clears throat> when there are islands or breaks it could mean legal problems also don't forget that legal problems are also they are also seen okay uh, when whenever there are islands or anything which is uh, considered as a bad sign if it is on this moon line then there would be problems legal problems or some kind of trouble with documentation or visa etc etc or deportation so these are things which one has to note this is a brief video on a, a line that is very basic it means videsh rekha or it's very basic i have done uh, some uh, you know research on ty the types of moon line like if it is here if it is here or if it is here and it makes some connections with certain lines um, people from the south asian ancestry in their palms whenever you see lines certain lines in certain positions you can approximately predict which continent they would actually migrate whether it will be very far whether it will be uh, you know the same climate or it will be extreme climate or it will be geographically opposite etc etc you know you can predict based on but this is not always true but i've seen this i've been i'm i'm doing my research on it and i've seen a lot of similarities a lot of common uh, kind of patterns that i've observed and uh, those do make sense uh, when you actually analyze the palm so of course those are advanced uh, uh, research videos which i may not be able to share with you right now but as and when i get an opportunity i will surely share these kind of observations so thank you for watching this video and i'm sure you've learned something new here and uh, please do uh, you know kind of uh, give your suggestions or whatever you want so that i can i can make more videos on this topic thank you